Tony, the, um, the photos that are in the current exhibit are from five years of traveling through Mexico, correct? Yes. Um, I, let's, why don't we take a look at some of them, start by taking a look at some of them and see what, what you can tell me about the people um, who were photographed and what you feel the photographs say to the people who see them. Okay. The, uh, the first one is of a, of a young girl standing beneath a, uh, a calendar. She's where? Uh, this is also in a town called Coajiniquilapa, uh, in the same marketplace uh, where the chicken seller was taken. Matter of fact, it's only a few stalls over. This is a, a young girl uh, who, uh, who I just saw, well, I just saw four months ago, who was, just graduated from high school now. Uh, it's very funny because my entire relationship has been with her in this picture and in one other picture, which I happen to like a lot. Now look at the... Um Look at her expression, the stillness of the photo, the simplicity of the composition, and let's look at the next photo, which is of a, uh, of a man on a boat. And I'm intrigued by the similarity. They're both, they both look at you in such a direct way, or look at the camera in such a direct way. Um, the way that people are, view, the way the photographs are pictured is, is really a reflection of how I approach the people and the kind of space that I'm able to put them in. They're helping me do what I want to do. Uh, this man really particularly doesn't care about having his picture taken, but he's, I've made a rapport with him, I've made a rapport with the village. He's helping me do what I need to do. Do you, um, tell me about traveling from your home in Los Angeles to uh, this part of Mexico, in southeast Mexico. Uh, and the time that you've spent down there, or the time that you did spend down there developing this portfolio of photographs? Well, I get on a bus in front of my studio, take it to the border, get on another bus, uh, take it to the train, travel on a train for about two days down to Mexico City, take a night bus, and all this time, I work myself into the country. I look out the window and see time go by. And by the time I get to where I'm going, I'm ready to do the work. Do, do you, um, you must think about the question of whether or not you exploit uh, your subjects in your photographs or whether you have the potential for doing that. Um, it hasn't really been an issue with me because um, I've asked permission to take every picture I've taken. Um, I don't like having my own picture taken. I respect someone else not wanting theirs done. These people, be because they don't have money, or they don't have a lot of money, and they don't have like the protection that maybe a corporate board officer would have, where I, where I cannot go into AT&T and do a photograph. Uh, I, these people are not prey to me simply because they live in a village and I can walk down the street and approach their house. Um, these are individuals with their own sets of wants, dreams, hopes, and aspirations. They help me do what I do. Uh, Let's look, at, let's look at the next photograph, a young boy. Tell me about him. This is, in, uh, this is a, a grandson of Senor Mairen, and this is in a small town called El Sinuelo. Um, and I had just come to this town for the day. I had been sent by uh, uh, Doña Soila in Cordalero, who, who sort of passes me off to different people. Because she's you want to go here and take a picture, you want to go there and meet someone. Yeah, and they're very, they're saying, Tony, you have to be careful, this is not a safe place. And maybe it isn't, but I've never had any problem. And this is a young boy, and he sat down, and we did a picture. And I asked, most people I asked to look straight into the lens. And I, Why? I used, Why is that? Well, because I'm doing, to me, the most powerful image is the human form. I do really lousy pictures of landscape. I, I never take pictures of, I, I use pictures in a very particular way. I don't, don't carry pictures or take pictures of those that I love. I don't have pictures in my house of my family. Um, pictures to me are very difficult to do. There are times that I've gone to this area, which is not around the corner from Los Angeles, which is a couple of thousand miles, and have not taken pictures because it just didn't seem right. Um, and it's and I only take pictures a couple times a year. Uh, are the these you've spoken of these pictures as um, uh, where the exhibit is being part of an effort to empower the people 
uh, that you met to give them a sense of their own identity, their heritage. Is that correct? Yes. Um, talk to me a little bit about that. Uh, I have to relate to myself as a child. I mean, I grew up looking about my culture, not seeing anything mirrored of my own reality uh, in publications other than ebony or jet or in old classic photographs of, of slavery. And what you, to me, what you see helps visually shape your, the way you deal with the world. Um, these people are very poor. Do people say to you, why are you interested in taking my picture? Uh, yeah, sometimes, and I have this sort of, I've got this sort of road show sort of banter that I go with. I mean, it's like, I mean, it's, it's like a relationship. It's like, uh, um, I'm there, I'm trying to make someone feel at ease, I'm asking them to help me. What I do a lot of times is I give people Polaroids. Um, I have made an agreement that these pictures will go back to the community. They're donated to probably the only organization there that can, that they can put them in a situation which they can be shown, which is the Catholic Church. The Arch Archbishop of Oaxaca has the entire portfolio. Um, they will be sent, or the portfolio will be sent around to the different villages uh, in 1992, which is part of the Columbus celebration. And people can see themselves in not as they not as they sort of go about doing their work in their day-to-day -day life but in very sort of i think a noble sort of empowered you know uh pictures i want to ask you uh, something about some of the aesthetics of the photos too and we'll do that when night watch continues in a moment mm -hmm. 